Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the if uh, structure, if statement in the structure text program. So to do so I'm going to simulate this, uh, the ladder logic program that you can see here. We will have a limit switch, LS1, which uh, provides the signal for the upcounting counter, but the preset value of the counter could be different values depending on the state of the A, B and C switches. So if the A is closed, the preset value is equal to uh, 300. If the B is closed, the preset value is equal to 175 and for C is equal to 50. Whenever the counter is done, the full pilot lamp will be turned on and whenever we press the a reset push button which is a momentary one the counter will be resetted. So here in the uh, codices I have already have declared the variables a, b, c, a, boolean which are false by default and ls1 which is a boolean one as well the full is boolean variable reset as well with the false as the default value then counter 0, 01 is my upcounting counter and counter preset value or counter pv is the word which with the default value of so to uh, start the program, I'm going to determine the inputs for the counter 01. So I will type counter 01, then open the parentheses. The counting up will receive value from the LS1. Then reset will be determined by the reset. And the PV will be determined by the counter PV. Okay, and that's all for calling the counter. Uh, okay, so this is LS1. With a typo here. Now I'm starting to, to write the if statement. So it's like this if A. Then, what do we have here? It's a counter 0, 01 dot preset value, PV, should be equal to, what was the value? Let me just double check, it's 300, 175, and 50. So it's 300. And else if P and uh, I just copy this and paste it to make it faster. So if it's the second case, we will have 25 if I'm not wrong. And again, if else if it's C, C is true, then the preset value will be equal to, let me just double check, 50. And the if statement is done. Okay, so that's all. And then after the if, we need to have full receiving the data from the counter 01.q. And here in the visualization, I already have set it up. A, B, C switches, and the LS1, and reset push button, and the full motor, the, the, the full pilot lamp. So I'm going to save, login. And then run. So as I change the state of the last one, the current value of the counter will be changed. The current value is 3 now, then it becomes 4, 5, 6, and so on and so forth. And initially the preset value is equal to 10. So whenever yeah, it reaches 10, the output will be, the, the full pilot time will be turned on. However, now if I, uh, switch the B for example B B switch uh, if I switch it on 
the preset value of the the counter will become 175. That's something that you can see here. If I switch A on, then it will become 300. And by switching uh, switch C on, you will have the preset value equal to 50. And whenever I press the reset, the counter will be resetted. That's something that you already have seen. And then here inside the program, you can see that whenever C is true, then this is this would be the case. Yeah, the preset value of the counter will become 50. That's what we have here. If B is true, then the B the 175 will be the preset value. And if both of them are true, the first one that is the case will will be the most important one. So 175 will be used, and then we will go out of the uh, end structure, let's say. Okay, so the first one that we have to, it's, it's similar to the other programming languages. In the first case that we see that the condition is true, then we go out of the, out of the if structure. Okay, so that, that's all. I hope this will help you in understanding how to program the if, else, if, structure in the structure text programming in the codices. Thank you for watching again.